Hey everyone, I'm Devin, and today I'm going to show you how to make two types of DIY phone cases inspired by my new favorite show, Mysticon. The first one is color changing dragon scale phone cases. Unleash the dragon! Alright, let's get started. First, you're gonna take your fabric and turn it sequin side down. Then you're gonna take your phone case so that you can trace it with your silver pen. We'll be doing green fabric for Arcana as she's the dragon mage. You're gonna trace the inside of the camera as well. And you're gonna take your scissors and begin to cut around the lines you just traced. Just make sure you're careful with your scissors or have an adult to help you. So once that's roughly cut out, take your nail scissors and just fold the fabric a little bit where the camera hole was so that you can cut that piece out. Selfie time! It's time to glue it down onto our phone case. Take your hot glue gun. It's gonna glue around the camera hole to start and just on that top edge. Get an adult to help you if you need it. You're gonna lift that piece up and continue down your phone case in small sections. You wanna make sure that you're going right to the edge so that it will stick all the way. And then once that's done, we're gonna take our scissors again and just go around the edges to clean up any sequins that are hanging off the side. So once you've cut off all the loose edges, just make sure that you glue the sides. So now that we're finished, I can show you the cool effect that it has. It looks just like dragon scales. So I made four colors, one for each of the Mysticons. And on the pink one, I even added a doorknob for a phone grip so you can hold your phone. Hey, what's up? So next we'll be making a phone pouch, and this is inspired by Choco the Foz. He's so cute and fuzzy. <laughs> We're gonna start by cutting our fuzzy sock. You're gonna wanna cut it on a straight line just before the heel. And again, just get an adult to help you with this part. So once we've cut the sock, we're gonna glue the seam. And you're just gonna take your hot glue and go along the edge. And then you're gonna be careful because it will be hot and pressed down. And while that dries, we're gonna make the face. Yes! Aww. So we're gonna start with the pink felt. You're gonna take your marker and we're gonna trace the belly. Just gonna do an oval shape. And then we're gonna move on to the eyes. You're gonna do like two ovals connected in the center by a line. And then we're gonna cut that piece out. We're gonna move on to the blue felt and we're gonna trace the eyes. Again, you're just gonna do two smaller ovals than the pink. We're gonna hot glue them onto the pink piece. So then we're gonna take our permanent marker and draw a smaller oval, fill it in. And these are gonna become our eyes. We're gonna take our white paint, and just take the end of the paintbrush and dip it in and then just do one small dot at the top of the eye. And then we're gonna create the nose. You're just gonna do an upside down triangle and then a small squiggly line underneath. And now we have our face. So now that our sock is dry, we can flip it inside out and this becomes our pouch. So we're almost finished. All we have to do is glue our face and belly onto the phone pouch. And again, just be careful because it may be hot. Say Mr. Cons. Mr. Cons. So now you can slide your phone in. You can leave it like this as it fits really well in your pocket, or you can add ears and make it look even more like Chaka. All you have to do is cut a piece of felt similarly to the stomach and glue it onto the side. And this is how you make two types of DIY phone cases inspired by Mr. Cons. <laughs>